It's like a real show. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Contemporary Late Show. I am your host, Robbie Brantley. Tonight, we have a fun-filled, packed episode. That's right. <laughs> These are the people on our show. I can't remember all of them, but here's what they're doing. If you'll notice, it won't be in this order, so figure it out for yourself. <laughs> Tonight we have videos from Admiral Gray, Steve Bristol, Kit Dummett, Magnetizer, and a great, great performance by Joseph Morrow. You can put the sign down. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You guys know what time it is. You know what the first segment always is. Here's your Corona update live from Nevada. I'm here in the deserts of Nevada giving you today's Corona update. As you can see, not a lot of people around, but watch out for them damn hornets. Back to you in the studio. Love me, darling, just tonight. Take your arms and hold me tight. Well, you heard it from Roberto. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay beautiful. I hope everyone's had a phenomenal week. I know I sure have. This corona thing is definitely interesting, but we'll see what happens in the long run here. Just a moment. Did you? Hey, come on in. Oh, oh. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is unprecedented. Yeah, just come around the side. Oh, you're gonna, oh, oh my, oh, hey, man. Whoa, what's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, my best friend, Custard! What's going on, buddy? How are you? Hey, buddy, how you been? Hey! <laughs> how are you telling them about the five year towers? Tell them about their what, buddy? The five year towers! Oh, the five G towers! Yeah. Oh my god, the five G towers. Guys, there is this big thing going on right now. I don't Everyone's know. Everyone's gonna die! Oh my god, dude. You can't... Hey, man, we're trying to give people I hope. We're trying to give people oh, hope in this. Lie. We're trying to give people hope in a time of need. But slow isn't good, man. We want fast. It gives you slower cancer. We want fast internet access. It gives you slower cancer. You don't want fast. Buddy, cancer. I don't know. Listen, what is the big deal about 5G? Explain it to the people. 5G is a tower that comes and it gives you corona, and you have to buy Alex Jones medicine. <laughs> Listen. Bye. Are you, is that just fact or fiction? It's fact! Why don't you go ahead... <laughs> why don't you go ahead and... <laughs> Buddy, why don't you go ahead and introduce the next video? Here's a video by Steve Bristol. Here's a video by Steve Bristol. Jesus, man.
Thanks a lot, Steve, for bringing us that great video. We sure did enjoy it. Coming up next is Taste Test. Well, a lot of you are familiar with it. It is definitely Corona time, and people are definitely rationing out their foods in different ways and different forms. Today's taste test, I give you spaghetti and meatballs by Chef Boy RD. Not exactly the most interesting taste test, but I gotta be honest with you, I was hungry on the way here to Miami, and spaghetti and meatballs just might do the trick. So let's give it a taste. Maybe we'll get a little bit of everything here. We got a meatball, we got spaghetti. A little cold, as you can see. Um, I didn't really heat it up, it's still in the can. Mm. Man, oh man, if that doesn't remind me of being about nine or 10 years old. Okay, who am I kidding? I ate this like yesterday. That was taste test, like, oh my God. <laughs> it's everywhere. Coming up next is a short educational video from Admiral Gray. The art of the power gesture. Every culture has its language, and it's no different with corporate culture. Corporate language is important in keeping our everyday negotiations running smoothly. But did you know that there is another secret language that holds the key to power and success in the corporate world? Power gestures are the key to unlocking the power you need to help you finally achieve total success in negotiating strategies in the business world. Let's begin with negotiation gestures. The Power Pyramid Bring both hands together in front of you to form a pyramid of power with your fingertips. Very good. Add a step to this gesture to make the power pyramid expansion. Excellent. Now, take the same hands and modify the gesture to create mergers and acquisitions. You've got your mergers to the right, your acquisitions to the left, and then bring it all on home. Perfect. Let's move on to everyone's favorite gesture, the pointed finger. The silent pointer. The silent rainbow. The pointed rainbow. The double rainbow. Very good. Let's move on. Listening gestures. Take your pointed finger and use it to create the thinker. This gesture indicates that you are listening to your associate and thinking about what they are saying. Open your palm to transition into the board thinker. This lets them know that you are no longer interested in what they have to say. Now lodge your teeth into your palm to create the deep thinker. This creates the illusion that you are thinking very deeply about your associate's point. Curl your pointing finger and put it in your mouth for the knuckle biter. Uh-oh, Sally. Remember to take your retainer out beforehand. The ultimate listening gesture is the long meeting. This lets your associate know it is time for the meeting to end. Now we are ready for the most powerful gestures. Closers. Show them you're a visionary with the big picture. Excellent. Now everyone remembers King Solomon. It's time to cut the baby in half. Let's stay on the biblical theme with the loaves and fishes. Very good. Use flair to stop them in their tracks with the jazz hands. If that doesn't work, it's time to wow them with the fossey. Now it's time for the strongest closer of them all, the big layoff. Here's the church. Here's the steeple. Fire all the people. Excellent. You've proven that you've got what it takes to get ahead. Now let's test our skills with a gesture battle. Battle number one. Sally starts off with jazz hands. Ken counters with a modified thinker into the thinker. Sally comes right back with the power pyramid. Ken seems to think for a moment. He busts out a steeple point. 
Sally moves into mergers and acquisitions. She brings it on home. Oh, Ken jumps back with a surprise do si -do. Sally loses her composure. Ken for the win! Battle number two. Sally starts off strong again with the migraine. Ken bites back with the neck scratcher. Sally quickly modifies into a thinker, slips into a knuckle biter. Ken counters with a tight, silent rainbow. Sally jumps into mergers and acquisitions. She brings it home. Here comes Ken with an open palm do -si do Sally shoots back with the big layoff. Ken buys some time with the thinker. Sally jumps right on top with the board thinker. And Ken cuts the baby in half. Sally seems momentarily stumped. She sneaks out a double lumberjack. Holy cow! Ken comes in hard with a double rainbow. Sally falls into a mashugana. She attacks back with the rock paper, causing Ken to fall into a defensive jazz. But it's a fake out into a full fisted palm punch. Sally falls into a defensive bossy. Ken goes into a methodical mergers and acquisitions. He goes directly into a power pyramid. But Sally destroys him with a rice toss. Full surrender from Ken. Sally wins. <laughs> Now let's watch Ken and Sally's skills in action in a successful negotiation. Thank you for joining us in learning gesture. Happy gesturing! Hmm. That Admiral Gray sure does go down smooth. Hmm. And we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, you know it's one of my favorite things. Of course, I'm talking about social media. Here's your TikTok of the week. To enter this. Uh -huh. Nah, it's man, cool. nah, nah. But you can use this flotation device. Ah, floating. Ah. When they say be floating, they're going to be hating. Put both feet. Uh -uh. If you put both feet, we'll give you a big bag of seeds. See? Damn it, man. See? Premium from Costco. I have to contemplate. I have to consider. Uh -huh. Ooh, ah, I'm aquaphobic, man. Cost, ah, cost. Why do I have to be aquaphobic? Flotation device mm. for the seeds. Just so, soon. So this, so you're saying I can trust you with this thing here? The, the decision is for you to make for the seeds. It is the flotation device trustable here. Yeah, I'm aquaphobic. Yes. Okay, let me give you. Okay. Big bag of what? seeds for me. Big bags of seeds indeed, but is it worth it? Huh? Aquaphobia, I can't swim. I don't think it's worth okay, it. Okay, two bags of seeds. Two bags of seeds? Yeah, nah, nah, that's, that's too good to be true. This is some trick. I needed this because, uh... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our producer, Greg Alvarez. <laughs> our next video is a short film made by Human Error Productions and Kit Dumit.
We need light. We need light in this house. Alright, two dots. Two dots. Like a lot of people, we have a special place in our hearts for New York. Here's Magda Tazar with a short live performance. This just in, happy birthday, Gladys Harlow, all the way in, where is she, Baltimore? I think she's in Philly. Is she in Philly now? I think she's in Philly. Happy birthday, Gladys Harlow, from us in Miami, to you, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? Or Chicago, I think. Maybe you're in Chicago now. We don't know where you're located, but thanks for sending in those videos. <laughs> My good friend Joseph Morrow is currently residing in Thailand, but is coming back for a short period of time to Rhode Island. Here's a great live performance by him.
So thank you very much, Vidium. Much love to all my Miami motherfuckers and anybody that's watching this. Support DIY and much love from Taipei. Peace. Well, that about does it for this week's episode of the Contemporary Late Show with me, your host, Roberto Brantley. I'd like to thank all my guests. We'll see you next week. Be yourself and never fit in. Woo!